Yeah, so Team USA needed every drop of LeBron's uh, uh, game-high 20 points versus Germany. Mm -hmm. He was also a crucial mm -hmm. part in their close win against South Sudan. Um, mm -hmm. LeBron's teammates have called him the key to victory, and Ant, very surprising coming from Ant Edwards. But I know LeBron's your guy, but isn't it kind of mm -hmm. concerning that he's the number one guy for Team USA at this moment, being 39? And I, you know what? I, I, I'm not trying to sound unpatriotic. Um but I, I don't really. I mean, I, I, I care more about LeBron's legacy than Team USA, and for LeBron's legacy, this is unbelievable. Guys, he's the best player on the Olympic team. It's. I said that on TV yesterday before the Germany game happened. Since these Olympics have started, the players themselves voted who's the best player. No one got more than two votes except for LeBron, who got five. They've had two close games. He won them both for them. And they made him the first basketball male basketball player ever to be a flag bearer. This, it is, so Maybe I understand that, well, no, you know, MJ probably would have bet on who would have won the, you know, who would have crossed the finish line first. <laughs> um, here's the thing. Uh, I, the... The, by the way, Mark Carmen's here at Trentage, just oh, really awesome. not doing well. He's the biggest Michael Jordan guy in the world. He's not doing well hearing all this. Um, here's the deal. Uh, I actually think LeBron's age has worked against him narratively more than it has skill-wise, basketball-wise. This past year... He was second team all NBA caliber guy and he wasn't really even considered for it and the only reason people would give you other than the Lakers record which like Kevin Durant made it, Kawhi Leonard made it, Kawhi's team I guess had a slightly better record but was uh, I mean the guy's in year 21. The guy's almost 40 years old. Going into these Olympics, there were smart people debating whether or not he should start and whether or not, you know, this was just a lifetime achievement the way it kind of is for Diana Taurasi on the women's side. Instead, he's the best player. And if you were to ask me, under the this context, Amanze, full health, rested, is there an American basketball player that I think is better than LeBron James on this team or otherwise, the answer is no. At this moment? I don't. Like, this moment. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think there's an. I don't. So here's the thing. If you want to say in the rankings of players, right? And I know Shea's not an American, but we'll include him. Take out the, the big three. Giannis. Jokic, Luka. Take those three guys out, okay? Any other player in the league, if you want to say, well, because LeBron can't do it 80 nights a year because of his age, because he's more of an injury risk than some of these guys because of his age, I am going to have Jalen Brunson above LeBron on my player hierarchy. F fine. I'll, I'll I, I agree, disagree, whatever. I'll listen to it. That's a separate question. If the question is this, we've got three games in the next 10 days. I'm guaranteeing you health for everyone involved. Other than the big three, Jokic, Luka, Giannis, of every basketball player alive, who is your top draft pick? The fact that the answer to that question might very well be LeBron James at age 39 headed into year 22 is so incomprehensible, folks don't even want to acknowledge that that's what's happening. How can anyone, art, like, we are watching LeBron on a team with Jason Tatum. Does anyone actually think Tatum's better at basketball if they're both healthy? We're watching him on a team with Steph Curry. 
You know who doesn't think Steph Curry's better than LeBron? Steph Curry. We're watching him on a team with Anthony Edwards. You know who thinks the best player on that team is LeBron James? Anthony Edwards. The only guy who seems to have real questions about it is Joel Embiid. With his insane quotes he's given out when Embiid right now should lose his starting spot to Anthony Davis, who has probably been the second best player on Team What did USA. Embiid say? Embiid had some wild quotes. Joel Embiid. Hasn't he been playing like awfully on. throughout the so LeBron Olympics? I mean, dude can't catch a pass. So this is uh, so I'm gonna read it to you exactly. Um, Let's you see. look at the talent the U.S. has, but there's equal talent on other teams, and the talent that's on the U.S. team, you got to understand most of those guys are older. The LeBron now is not the LeBron that was a couple years ago. So it's a big difference. Everybody would also tell you, you can see for yourself, the athletic LeBron, dominant that he was a couple years ago, it's not the same as he is now. I think people get fooled by names on paper, but those names have been built throughout their career and now they're older. They're not what they used to be. A wild quote to give four days ago to the New York Times about your teammate. That well, is a wild I think wild that it also quote. could have been coming from the angle of, he did go deep into LeBron's age, but coming from the angle of like these games being close and everybody thinks that USA should be blowing teams out. It's like, hey. But this, you know. he said this before the games were, he said this before <laughs> any of the close games happened. Um, And like, the, the I listen, I like him, B. That's a wild quote to give about a teammate. Flatly. Yeah. Like that that quote I've can work at any other time. Fan. Yeah. I know. Um but I just don't I it is truly unreal that LeBron is the best player on team USA at this point, at this stage of his career, at this stage at at, at this age. And again, I don't think it is if you want to say LeBron is the 10th best player in the league when you incorporate injury risk, availability, that, all of that, I, I, I understand the argument. But the flip side of that argument is if we're just saying best at best, we've got for a game or for a few games, and the criteria is we're giving you everyone in the world at full strength, fully healthy, at their best. Under those parameters, I don't think at this moment, Shea, Tatum, uh, Ant, any of that, any of those guys, Steph, Durant, are better than LeBron. Hey. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.